Here in Surrey, where residents are facing a general property tax increase of 6%, plus another 1% for a road and traffic tax. Add it all up, it's 7%. The budget passed at Council last night 5-4, and depending who you ask, it's a great budget, meeting Surrey's needs, a city that's growing quickly. Or it's completely too costly when you think about money on offer from the province to help with the police transition here. That process for the Surrey Police Service to take over for the RCMP, it's been six years so far, a period marred by political battles, competing information, and a court challenge. Surrey's Mayor Brenda Locke recently refused $100 million extra dollars to help with the transition. Opposing councillors said that money could have greatly offset this year's property tax increase. Now it's important to note that this year's 7% increase is far below the 12.5% property tax increase from last Last year, that big bump was needed to pay for the police transition. Before 2023, Surrey's property tax increases were some of the most stable and predictable in the province, repeatedly under 3%. Now, despite this year's 7% increase, there are good things in this budget, notably money for new police officers, firefighters, and new bylaw officers. There's also money for significant infrastructure projects, some $311 million for a new community center in Newton, money for Cloverdale's Sport and Ice Complex, and also money for several new parks. Chad Pawson, CBC News, Surrey.